in 2013, the comedian Mark Maron made a few people cry on his podcast. And that seemed to kind of open the floodgates. Since then, it's been totally normalized to completely overshare on strangers' podcasts uh, for the whole internet to hear. And if it's a video podcast, to see you bawling your eyes out as well. And um makes me wonder, like if you were going through a, a real serious issue, let's say you were struggling with the old drinky dink, should you go to AA? Or should you just hit up some stranger and say, hey, looking for a guest and just dump your shit on a stranger? <laughs> and, uh, you know, I think we, we, and when I say we, I mean the millennials are going to be the generation where pretty much every fucker and his dog has done a podcast. Uh, maybe not had their own podcast, but like been a guest on their cousin or some randos pod talking about something so that's fucking weird like you know on youtube your favorite you know the algorithm will attack you based on what your kind of musical preferences are but i I guarantee you now like if you if you like the stones or whatever your youtube algorithm would be like have you heard this unreleased keith uh, interview from the late seventies or something. There's all this, or there's tons of fucking Beatles stuff, obviously. And, uh, yeah, that's interesting because I think back in the day, even for these really huge artists, there weren't that many, um, opportunities to kind of get the word out. Everyone's had a fucking opportunity to get the word out. And, um, I don't know. It's, it's normalized to, overshare but it is kind of like a it is kind of like flashing in public that's what it feels a little bit like like just exposing yourself momentarily at least it feels momentary in the moment because you're just on some random podcast with like 28 listens uh per episode i'm putting my i'm not pointing the finger at other people here as well i guess i am but i'm also pointing back at me when you point in the mirror there's four fingers pointing back at you (laughs) no i don't think there's a mirror involved in that saying but anyway uh yeah um you feel like it's in the moment and you're like it's 28 listens we got 15 likes on facebook how many people could have heard it but i guess the internet is forever chat gbt your, your kids will be able to access chat gbt and be like hey chat gbt tell me every time my dad overshared on a podcast from 2015 to 2025 and then they'll just bring it right up in an easily accessible format and your kids will know everything about you <laughs> so you think you're flashing in public like wait and then no it's actually there forever so that's one thing to consider but um yeah also like aa i think like just oversharing in a podcast feels way more modern now convenient you can fucking chill at home crack open a beer (laughs) have a beer sit on the couch open up zoom on your phone and just fucking let it all hang out whereas aa you gotta fucking go and hang out with all these degenerates and compulsory that you get into coffee and cigarettes so oh just feels this point, AA feels like archaic and way too human. Um, and I think ultimately, like going to AA, oversharing on strangers' podcasts about your problems, really, what you're looking for here is kind of like a yeah, that sense of kind of like exposing yourself to to kind of like level with the, with the world. Like here I am. Um, but you're also kind of like by doing that by making something public you're looking for uh, accountability you're divulging to others about your problem um so yeah you can go to aa and trust a bunch of other fucking looney tunes <laughs> fucking addicts uh or you can trust the internet which is equally insane because it's like oh yeah it's celebrated but we all know how we use the internet it's a fucking surveillance tool 
we're keeping tabs on people we really like or we really hate silently in the background, just lurking, kind of keeping track of everything. And I wonder what that person who slighted me in, in grade nine is doing. Oh yeah, not too well. So I think you're looking for accountability in all the wrong places and maybe a better option. Just throwing this out there. Let's say you think you've got a problem with a drink or something like that. You're looking for accountability. What you could do is you could hire a really good PI who is kind of like tech savvy and put this to them. Say, what I want you to do is I want you to scrape my internet history, everything I've done online, and I want you to uh, compile a list of all the naughty stuff or anything that's fucking embarrassing or crazy. I also want you to track whether I am drinking. Uh, <laughs> and if I drink, you have permission to broadcast on the internet every fucking strange search, weird interaction, all the wild fucking shit that I've been doing online that's gone public on the internet. If uh, you, this really qualified PI, catches me drinking. So then I think you would have, you've made it public to one person. You've set up a contract. So to be like, here's what I want you to do. You've enabled them to do their work. But also you've got that fucking, you've got that accountability, baby. If you fuck up, you, you're, you're going to get exposed properly as opposed to you going on a podcast and curating how you're going to expose yourself. Because I think even <laughs> it's funny when you, when someone breaks down on a podcast and kind of talks about their problems, there's always kind of an angle in terms of how they're doing it. They're shaping their own story. The one that always springs to mind is when Steve Renazizi went on Stern after his 9-11 lie came to light he was really curbing that story to kind of give himself the benefit of the doubt and in, in respect to the listener saying like oh it was just a momentary thing and then the moment passed for me to clear up the lie and by then by that point it was too late and by him saying that that stern interview is fascinating because he could be believing his own lie at that point you know he's not perfect he's not actually necessarily going to fabricate another lie, but he could just be rationalizing to himself. This is why I did it. And it's become so ingrained that this is what he's telling the world now. So really, if you want people to fucking be aware of your shit, get a good PI to fucking do some digging on you. Who's tech savvy, then give the power to that person to fucking expose you properly. <laughs> so this is uh don't, I'm not a fucking licensed, uh, therapist here so please take this advice with a grain of salt but for the question should you go to aa or just overshare on a stranger's podcasts think think of a third option hire a pi let them do the work